what is going on guys this is incredibly average show bringing you another madden 20 video i hope everyone had a great thanksgiving it's been a little bit since my last video i apologize it's because of the holidays i was spending time with my family i hope all of you had time to do that or with your loved ones as well hope everyone had a good one uh the blitz promo dropped last night i'm recording this about seven minutes before the uh nfl 100 the new defensive players comes out they just announced that lawrence taylor was in that group so we should be getting the lawrence taylor card uh, I will have those players that come out at the end of this video. I'm going to put this up as soon as possible after it comes out, so y'all make sure you check, out, check that out at the end of the video here. I wanted to go over very quickly of the Blitz promo. I know a lot of y'all already know what it's all about and everything, but just in case for my subscribers, if you aren't really sure what to do with all the information, I want to just really quickly go over all of it. The first thing that you need to know about the Blitz promo is that you are not going to be able to get a ton of stuff unless you are a money spent person. Now, generally, I am a no money spent person. I have spent a little bit of money. I spent it on one of the Redux packs at level 70 and the level 50 full legend pack. Other than that, I'm no money spent. So I might spend a little bit of money on this promo, but I'm not going to spend a lot. And if you're not spending money, you're definitely not going to be able to get the Lamar Jackson unless you grind out a ton. Uh, I, according to one of, let's see, with Xerxes' video, it's like 27, 28,000 bolts that you need to get him. That equates to about a thousand wins in house rules. You know, you, you can get them other ways, you can get them free ways, but if you were to only play house rules, then it would take about a thousand wins. It's, it's a lot. Um, it's really not feasible for most people. I, I think someone already told me they had 600 something wins, so I guess it is possible, but it takes a lot of grinding. Um, really quickly, let's go through some of the packs in the store here. Uh, one way that you can get easy bolt points is I already bought mine, but I believe it's every four or six hours. Somebody correct me down in the comments. It might be eight to 12. I'm not sure. Um, you get a, a 100 bolt pack for 500 coins. That's basically free. 500 coins is pretty much nothing. Uh, it's going to be right here in between. Uh, it's right here in the Blitz offers. So make sure you check that whenever you log on. If it's been a little bit, it's a very cheap, easy way to get some points. Um, other than that, there are these other bundles that have come out. See, as you can see, almost all of them require the green Madden points. Uh, those are meaning you have to spend cash to get them. So yeah, most of, if you're if you're no money spent, you're not gonna be able to get the majority of these. What you can get is this Mutt Blitz pack. I haven't bought any of these yet. I'm thinking about buying some. You do get a free 300 Blitz points as you can or Blitz bolts as you can see there, along with some other players. I know some people have gotten some good stuff. They've gotten some of the limited players. That's great. Uh, mostly I've seen people getting trash out of them so just be aware they might not be the best packs but if you need 300 blitz bolts that is the way you can do it uh, other than that some of these packs are really good value I'm not really interested in any of the ones that require you know 50 to 100 bucks to, to buy just because this one might be a bit out of my price range it's about $30 that's more than I typically spend the ones that I'm looking at buying though are the centennial pack here for 2200 that's $20 and then again, the Series Redux, which is about $2,100, so $20, $20 really, uh, for two of the packs. Um, to keep in mind with both of these is, so this one comes out at 12-1, which is really, so on 11-30 at midnight, which would be 12-1 technically, this one you will have a 10-minute time frame where you can buy this pack. Now I know last night the uh, theme diamonds pack that people were buying, they were having server issues, so just be aware of that as a potential issue. Just be on right at midnight or at midnight easter time whatever your time zone is be ready to buy that pack and hopefully the servers don't screw up if you want that now i assume you'll get a 94 out of this i don't know if it's going to include the defensive players that are about to come out i really hope that it does uh because the running backs are great but they're not going to be uh, great value anymore now that they're dropping i would love to get one of the new defensive players but i guess we will see with that pack there's you can't click on it yet it just tells you it's not available so we don't have any additional details about this one as far as i know if anyone knows any more details about this one, let me know down below. Uh, the other one is the Series Redux. This is a fantasy pack, so you will be able to pick any of the Series 1, Series 2 Redux players. So kind of like what you got for the house rules a couple weeks ago or the level 70 Redux pack, except for instead of random, you get to pick. So you can pick whoever you want. You're not, you're not going to get Philip Rivers unless you want Philip Rivers for some crazy reason. But you can pick whoever you want. You can pick Michael Vick, you can pick Dion, you know, all those great guys. Um, so this is one I'm definitely looking at. I'm, I'm probably going to get two of them for about 20 bucks there uh, if I can actually buy them with that 10 minute door buster again. So uh, now 
One thing that I would recommend if you buy any of these packs that are like the Series Redux, the Centennial, any of these that are some of these cards, I would not recommend selling your card right away. All right, so if you buy a Dion, don't go and put them up on the market or an Aaron Donald, whoever, the most expensive ones. Don't go and put them on the market because everybody, not everybody, a lot of people are going to be putting up on them on the market. That means they're going to tank in value. You don't want that. You want your card to be as valuable as possible at the time of selling. So don't sell it right away. Hold on to the, I would honestly hold on to the packs for a little bit. Wait to see what the market does. Open up the pack, then choose your player. It'll probably still be Aaron Donald, uh, Deion Sanders, all those guys will be the most expensive, but just to be safe, wait to open your pack, open it, and then sell it. If you're not planning on keeping the guy, if you're planning on keeping the guy, obviously you can sell, but think about who you want to keep too. If you want to keep someone that's not necessarily the most expensive player, maybe take the most expensive player, sell them, and then buy the player you want anyway, and then take that additional coin profit. So just some things to think about with those couple of packs. Those are the two that I am looking at. Other than that, there are these players that are getting released every uh, eight hours or so. So you got Kyler Murray, you know, all these guys. So when you buy them, you get these master tickets. You can see plus 23, plus 8, plus 23. You get all these master tickets. The master tickets are used to complete the master set. Sorry if I'm talking kind of quick, by the way, trying to get this done before the NFL 100 comes out. Um, but anyway, so you get these master tickets. Those are used to complete the master sets. We'll go over those in just a minute. Um, so these are a really good way to, if you're trying to complete those master sets, to get these tickets. They just had Dalvin Cook come out. That's plus 33. Uh, Justin Reed as well. So those are plus 33. Those are the biggest ones I've seen so far. But as you can see, those are 6,000 bolts. A lot of bolts. Uh, going over the packs, these are pretty much, none of these really look like good value to me. If you need an additional two, three, seven tickets, then maybe there's something for you to buy. But other than that, I don't really like any of these. They're all kind of meh. I'm going to stay away from them. Unfortunately, no training currency. If you haven't seen yet by now, there are no training packs, which kind of sucks because a lot of people stack stocked up on uh, training points. Uh, it's just kind of part of Madden, guys. Ultimate Team. You, there's really you can't you can't plan for it. You never know what they're gonna do. It's EA. Um, it, it's money grab, and uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing because it's it's Black Friday. That's that's kind of what it's all about. They're just trying to make money. They are a company at the end of the day. They're trying to make money. Kind of sucks still, but you know it is what it is. Uh, try not to let it piss you off too much. Um, if you stocked up on a lot of training currency, what you can do is you can get some football outsiders, some veterans, these guys, the heavyweights. All these packs are pretty solid. If you want to trade in your training, I've got 7,000 up there. I'm going to hold on to it for now just in case they do release some more training. I doubt it, but if they do release some training packs later in the promo, I'm going to hold on to a little bit there. Uh, moving on. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's go look at the master sets really quick. And it is 9 o'clock, but let's look really quick at the master sets. To do you got two of the master sets the big one that everyone wants to know about is lamar jackson hell of a card really fast really good throwing well decent throwing sets they improved them not amazing but really good card overall you need 125 of those master tickets to get him and then you got chris johnson here that needs 150 94 halfback uh people aren't talking about him as much which is funny because he's 94 lamar's the 93 but everyone wants Lamar. They all want the fastest quarterback in the game. Um, if you use your quarterback to scramble a lot, Lamar might be worth it. Don't buy him when he's 1.4 million right now, guys. That's it's it's a bit ridiculous. He's not worth that. I'm a Ravens fan. It's a little bit much. He's gonna drop in price. Just 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 don't buy it as it is right now. Um, let me go and check and see if this NFL 100 has dropped. It probably should. I'm going to back out. Don't think we have the NFL 100 yet. It's, yep, we still got the running back. So. Let me get on out of here. Um, let me stop this. We'll wait till the NFL 100 drops, and I'll tack that on to the end here. All right, guys. So we have the NFL 100 Week 2 release just now for the defensive players. About 30 minutes late. It's not too bad for EA. I'll give it to them. Uh, again, make sure if you are not uh, – I really hope you got Week 1. Uh, do your challenges here. If you do all six weeks – where does it say here? If you do all six weeks – Right up there in the description, you will get a Nat Centennial Fantasy Pack, which means you get to pick whoever you want, it sounds like, from any of these NFL 100. That is very valuable. Um, these guys are going for four to six, 700,000, maybe some of these later ones that we will see. It's a very good pack. I hope you did your week one. If you did, make sure you do your week two as well. Let's look at the challenges really quick. We got Lawrence Taylor, Bobby Bell, Alan Page, and Deacon Jones. Um... Let's see, each challenge is get a sack with LT, that should not be hard, don't allow a touchdown, Bobby Bell, don't allow a first down, don't allow a touchdown, Allen Page, don't get a sack, don't allow a touchdown, they're all pretty much the same, get two user tackles in three drives, that should be pretty easy. 
So guys, the sets are still set up for the running backs. Uh, I assume they're going to be the same as the running backs where you still have to put in the 25 items and all that. You can buy them from the store. Uh, the running backs, when I bought them, were going for about 25000 a piece towards the end they were going for about 20,000 so I'm sure those fluctuate a little bit uh, might be different for the dif defensive players here but those are your four defensive NFL 100 uh, players uh, I'm gonna be going after LT myself personally just because I've got him upgraded all the way anyway and he's a beast off the edge let me know down in the comments guys who you're gonna be pursuing if anyone out of this NFL 100 or if you're gonna be waiting for that centennial fantasy pack and picking one of them up then for free uh, that is also a very good idea before I finish up the video guys here, I wanted to just add one more thing about the Blitz promo. Uh, it's been a little crazy with the market. If you haven't noticed, uh, people, all, it just completely tanked. 88 is kind of what I like to look at to gauge the market just because that's what I know the most. Um, let's see, at the last typing video, we were selling them for 65 and they're selling for 45 now. Let's see if we just go by team by team. I bet we can get them down into the yeah, 41 there. Uh, bucks. I've, I've found some as low as 35. Uh, it's a little crazy right now. So the best way to make coins, if you want to make coins, you don't really want to bother with the bolts right now. Uh, in my opinion, is to flip cards, but to flip cards quickly. Don't don't buy them for an hour or uh, put them up on the auction block for an hour. Buy them and sell them quickly. So if I were to buy, uh, let's see, they're selling for 45,000 right now if I bought this guy that wouldn't be a profit right so I want to buy someone for 40,000 or less if I'm selling them for 45,000 the reason that I'm suggesting that now you can sell them for a little more maybe 46,000 not 45 but uh, the, typically my methods I say put them up for 48 49 or so up in up in the second or third row uh, the only reason that's a bit of a risk is because the market is in such a state of flux right now there's really no guarantee that these will either drop more or maybe go up more and then you don't get a good price. Um, it's just a bit of a risky game if you wait for that hour. It's still a viable option. I've done it a little bit. I've had some success, some not. Uh, I had about 200,000 coins about an hour ago. As y'all can see, I'm about 290 and I still have two people on the auction block. Anyway, guys, just a good method right now. With When the market tanks like this, it is a definite good time. People are going to be underselling, underselling, undercutting. They're trying to get drop cards, uh, sell their cards that they're ripping from these packs so they can buy more or buy the cards they want, whatever. So it's a really good time to pick up some people that are desperate. They're like, screw it, I'll just sell it for 35000 get rid of it. That's when you swoop in, get that thirty-five. wait your five minutes, sell it for forty-six. get your profit. That's really what you want to be going for. That's a great way to make coins right now. Um, if you're not really interested in making coins or you don't really want to do that right now, at the very least, you can pick up some cheap training. Uh, no, there aren't really any training packs right now, but training is still used to upgrade your players. So if you want training to put some uh, abilities on your guys or some X factors, you haven't been doing that because it's been expensive. Now is a very great time. Uh, I'll, I'll try and update the spreadsheet, get that out there. Uh, I'll leave that in the link below. Make sure you check that out so you can see the best values. Uh, but if you don't want to wait on that, just you know do the math yourself. It's really easy. Um, but this is a great time, guys, to be making coins and making training off the market. All right, guys, before we finish up the video, one last time, they have come out with the week two sets now. They got Lawrence Taylor. It all is 25 items. Uh, I will have to go and check and see what these are going for on the market. Actually, let's search for it right now. See if anyone's putting him up. I bet you they're going for a ridiculous. Okay, 24,000. 24, 25. That's about the same. We will see if they continue to be that way. Again, it's any of the random players you can do. Uh, any player doesn't have to be Lawrence Taylor here, so any of the random players can go and fill up your 25. You get a 94 Lawrence Taylor, and he will kill everybody. Or you can do any of these other dudes. You got an end, D tackle, and two linebackers. All really, really solid players, I'm sure. Um, so definitely look into that, guys. We also have an exchange set here. Uh, let's see. So if you trade in three wild cards. Okay, so if you have three of the wild cards, you exchange it, and you get your choice of two. So I guess. If you have three of the running back ones, you can put them in and get two of the defensive ones if you have a couple of those left over. So definitely something to take note of. All right, guys, I'm going to get this video up as quick as possible. Hopefully, you guys can take advantage of the market and all that stuff. It's really crazy right now. It's a great time to make money and training points. I really hope you guys take advantage. If you enjoyed the video, if it's helping you out, make sure you hit that sub button, the bell button, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, stay average.